And I'm gonna talk about something, bro. The video, you know what I mean? I'm talking about 100K ain't what it used to be. That's a fact. Inflation is what it is. And, and we can break down the numbers. But let, let's talk about this. I'm literally going to show you guys. Hold on. You guys see that? This is a comment that just came through um, that I just saw four hours ago. It says, I literally make 70K a year and I'm perfectly fine. Y'all just need to stop having bad spending habits and trying to act like you're rich. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like, bro, what? Let's talk about it. So, everybody that's struggling that's making over a hundred thousand is trying to live like they're rich. That's what you're saying. Um, <laughs> bro, not if, if you would have just before you made that comment, look down in the comment section. 95 percent of the people agree with what I'm saying because I'm talking is real ish. This ain't for the single people. I think everybody in the comment section that's making over a hundred thousand dollars will be living just fine if they wasn't. If they didn't have a family, helping family, have car notes, whatever. Like, most people have debt. Alright, so, the title of this video, and shout out to the person that commented on my last video, because you gave me the title for my video without you even knowing it. Is 70k a year enough to take care of you and your family, with you being the only working person in that household? Is 70k a year enough? Tap in. Popping G gang, man. Man, back on that grind, man. Back to work. Um, we're actually late today, so I gotta get in this traffic, man. Hurry up and try to get to work, and then you guys gonna ride with me, man. And we gonna go on this journey together. Shout out to everybody that watched uh, the last two previous vlogs I put out. We back putting out vlogs. We back putting out um, long form videos on the channel. Uh, but today, man, I'm about to take you to work, and we're going to vlog today what I can and get through it. But right now, I'm late, man, so I got to go ahead and dip in this traffic, and I'm going to catch you guys when I pull up. All right, so finally made it to the yard, man. We're just checking our truck to make sure all the lights work. Fucking tired. Lights work, work, work. Lights work, work, working. Tail lights, most important. Mm. License plate light, important. Important. Important lights. Strobe light works. Okay. All right. So oh, man, uh, it's, it's cold. It's fucking early as fuck. Waiting for the truck to warm up. This is the stuff I'm talking about, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, who wants to get up this early in the winter time, bro? Like, shit, it's annoying. Even though I've been doing it for years, I'm not really a morning person, but ain't no way I can work um, swing shifts and coming in the afternoon, man. Ain't no way. Or a graveyard. I just... So the morning shift is the only thing I can do. Uh, I don't know how people work in swing shifts. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of the day, like, come to work at 2.30 or 3 o'clock, ain't no fucking way. On swing shift, that's when I usually be sleeping, man. I... I usually go to bed around 12. All right, so let's see. We got uh, 32 stops today. 32 stops. Seven, and we're on, um, we're in a couple different cities today. So, and let me go ahead and, uh, Get tapped in, get my work bag, um, and a few more things to put on the truck, and then we're gonna get rolling. Man, I'm gonna tap back in with you guys throughout the day, let you know where I'm at, how I'm feeling. Um, right now, I'm cold, I'm irritated, I'm here though, gotta show up. Feel me? So, we'll tap back in with you guys in a minute. 
So I haven't been able to pick up the camera because I've been working, you feel me? And I was late today, so I had to get back on track. But right now, I'm getting a truck inspection to get on base, you feel me? So I want to tap in, and I'm going to talk about something, bro. The video, you know what I mean? I'm talking about 100K ain't what it used to be. That's a fact. Inflation is what it is, and we can break down the numbers. But let's talk about this. I'm literally going to show you guys. Hold on. You guys see that? This is a comment that just came through um that i just saw four hours ago it says i literally make 70k a year and i'm perfectly fine y'all just need to stop having bad spending habits and trying to act like you rich i don't know if y'all can see that it's like bro what let's talk about it so everybody that's struggling that's making over a hundred thousand is trying to live like they're rich that's what you're saying now what i'm willing to bet and guarantee is you make 70k and you don't have a family, right? There's no way you make 70K and you have a family and taking care of a family of four and all that, and you're just fine. Either that or you make 70K and live with your parents, or you make 70K and live with two and three roommates and you pay a third of the rent. You feel me? There's no way. <sighs> you have to be single at the end of the day, bro. I'm telling you right now, I make double what you make. If I was single, I would be more than okay. You know what I'm saying? I would have a Cadillac CTSV Blackwing <laughs> if I didn't have a family making 140k and have other responsibility so um it's just like if the if the if the video is not for you the the comment was pointless bro i think anybody on here most listen let's get this straight 95 percent of the comments are saying they relate they make 120 100 140 and they're struggling bro you know what i'm saying and they're taking care of family of four and all this other type of shit so um Hold on, they about to come check me in. I'm gonna get back to you. Hold on. Right, so I got checked in. I'm, I'm I'm on base now. You know what I'm saying? But okay, like I was saying, um, <laughs> bro, not if, if you would have just before you made that comment, look down in the comment section. 95 percent of the people agree with what I'm saying because I'm talk is real ish. This ain't for the single people. I think everybody in the comment section that's making over a hundred thousand dollars will be living just fine if they wasn't if they didn't have a family helping family have car notes whatever like most people have debt i said in my in my video i got a i got a fucking forty thousand dollar worth of debt just in, in my tesla but at the same time that was a great purchase because that car pays for itself i have no maintenance when it comes to that car no gas no oil changes nothing i just literally change the tires and put cooling in i get in that car and i go that purchase was well worth it that forty thousand worth of debt is well worth it and i haven't been to the supercharger in almost over a year you know why because i have a a, a, a charter system that costs two thousand um, dollars in my home so now my car takes like if it, if that dot battery die, uh completely dies which it never will because i don't i drive to work at home bro if i drive it down to 50 percent that start the uh, that shit takes an hour, uh, hour to charge at max so i don't even spend money on a supercharger i don't see the bill astronomically in my power bill at all like it just, i don't even notice it that's how much i don't spend so yes i have debt so on top of having debt check this out bro let me let me say this you saying you said you got seventy thousand dollars and you're just fine and i'm just saying clearly you don't have a family bro i got teenage boys they literally probably can, are eating thirty thousand dollars worth of food a year that's a little exaggeration but they are eating they're growing boys you got people that have brand new fucking kids, babies, infants, that are probably spending like 10000 a year on everything uh, associated with that baby. You know what I'm saying? If they don't have insurance, the hospital costs, the food, the diapers, what? The strollers, the babies. Bro, come on, man. We're talking about, I'm talking about this. This was strictly talking about people that that have families and 100000 and just ain't what it used to be, bro. This, I'm not... Man, we can all be on here single, man, and that 100000 going to hit different, bro. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? So if you would have just looked in the comment section, man, because we could have broke it all the way down, bro. If you're single making 50000 and above, you're fine, bro, if you, especially if you don't have a lot of debt. If you're making 50000 and up to 150000 bro, and you're taking care of a family of four plus other family that you don't have to, but that's just who the person you are, you're going to be struggling a little bit, bro. Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't... This, this this video wasn't for you. It, it's hitting who is hitting. You know what I'm saying? Go back in the comment section. Read the comment section. A lot of these people are making 100000 
and barely surviving working 70 hours because they have to take care of a family nobody wants to work 70 hours a week bro i'm saying right now being at home with my family is worth more than the money but at the same time if i wasn't making this money 140,000 150,000 a year bro we would be we would be fucked up is what i'm saying bro but i gotta get back to work man um i gotta get back to work finally on base uh, but I'm going to tap back in with you guys. I just had to address that comment, man, because that was kind of crazy. Um, but shout out to you, my guy. If you make it 70000 or fine, I'm happy for you. I don't want nobody to be struggling. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tap back at you guys a little bit later, but I got some more work to do to get caught up even more. So, All right, guys, so you know what? I'm going to actually end this vlog because, like I said, I was late today, man. And um, they just threw a delivery on me, so I got delivery. So it's added to my day. So I really got to gotta buckle down and get to it. But... This, this is what I want to say, bro. Shout out to everybody that's out there taking care of business. Shout out to the hard workers. I don't care what you're doing. Shout out to everybody that's put it all on the line for their family. You know what I mean? One thing I will say is I've been down. I've been up. I've been up. I've been down. One thing I will not do is stay down. You feel me? Shout out to everybody that is, that's comfortable enough to get in the comment section and really, and, you know, keep it funky, keep it real, like how they, you know, the position they in. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody people are down but that don't mean gonna stay down so shout out to you guys um this is a judgment free zone you feel me i don't get caught up in my feelings bro i'll figure shit out you feel me so um you can come here man let it man keep it real that's that's what i'm doing I'm being real transparent but like i said i've never been down to stay down i'm gonna stay down until i come back up that's facts you know what i'm saying shout out to everybody else that's doing the same man i ain't got time for none of that other ish um i'm gonna I'm figure it out until it's figured out it's your boy Fushnikin, man. I'm going to catch you guys in the next vlog tomorrow, man. We're going to talk about it some more. Go on.